Welcome back you guys to another video to Louis Garage. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. So today we're working with another video of the e-bike. So we're actually going to get the chain to the right length. We're going to delete or cut off a link, uh, link or two. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm actually down here by myself. So, so you guys ain't going to be able to see the whole the whole process of it. But I'm going to try to see as much as I could. Just the loop chain and all her blurry. So basically, we're just gonna get this chain compared to it because we basically want this link. So, but this, this whole chain is over it anyway. So, stay tuned. All right, you guys, I did some of this off camera, but basically, I just used my grinder. And I grind it down because as you looked at the other videos, I said that the, uh, actually the chain was too big. So I just got my center hole puncher. And I basically, after I grinded it down, I just kept on pressing this to back out that screw. Basically kept pressing this down. But right now, <laughs> unfortunately it won't work. But yeah, if you see, the screw is actually backed out. Should be enough for me to actually be able to pull it out. So I'ma try to pull it out. So unfortunately, so unfortunately I was unable actually to pull it out with the screw. So I'ma continue to push it with the center hole puncher. So you guys, I did that off camera, but yeah, I just kept on punching this. I used this as a holder actually to give me enough space to actually push this all the way down without actually touching the ground. But as you look, I grinded it down like I said. Now we finna just see, is this chain actually long enough now? So if you guys not know, that's the master link I actually had to take out. Just in case you guys didn't know that. I'm gonna try to film some of this stuff. So basically, putting this back on there like that. And this. Going to slide back. I just need a flathead screwdriver to push it out. So now, so now let's see. It actually fit. Got a second. All right. Unfortunately, I actually cut this chain actually um, a link too short. So I'm actually taking that off. As you see, I got it started. It's flatter than this. Like I said, I'm using a center hole puncher. So I'm gonna continue to do this. So I finally took it off. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just add it to this chain and I'm gonna just hammer uh, hammer it back down in there. So yeah, unfortunately you guys ain't really able to watch that process. Uh, so I really don't have nobody to hold the camera for me. But yeah, you guys gonna see this get put back in there. So I don't wanna take the risk to keep on hitting it. As you see, I, I put it in mostly, it ain't just Go through that all the way. So I'm just grab my pliers. Yep, we got that bad boy on there, you see? Let's see through the chain, they got the same problems.
if a dude still got them same problems, I don't see him. 